everybody. Today we went outside to the Jerusalem mountains. We are on the top of one mountain and we're gonna do something very special. We're gonna cook Israeli shakshuka on a rocket stove. <laughs> I reckon you've never seen something like that. So, well, hope you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna try it at home because it's very easy, but as well it's super tasty. For our shakshuka, we will need following ingredients. Olive oil, one onion, two red peppers, more or less five tomatoes, one can of whole peeled tomatoes, salt, peppers with paprika, one small cup of tomato paste, six, eight eggs, fresh cilantro, pitas and four cloves of garlic and of course the rocket stove. First let this rocket stove burn when you see decent fire flames heat about three tablespoons of oil in the large skillet. Chop one onion, warm it up until it's soft, don't forget to stir it. Add two chopped peppers and the same story. Keep stirring until it's kinda soft. Now you will want to chop more or less 5 big tomatoes and add them to our pot of miracles. Be patient, grab a beer and cook it uncovered for about 20 minutes. If you see it missing something, you can always add more olive oil. There is never too much of olive oil. Now take a can of whole peeled tomatoes and chop them all. Obviously add them to what we already have in the skillet. Add two decent tablespoons of sweet paprika. Now, one small cup of tomato paste.
pepper, salt and if you are not going on a very first date later, 5 cloves of garlic. This is the moment, X is a huge responsibility, so I would say you will need at least four hands to do it properly. Two hands are cracking the eggs and placing them in the holes previously prepared by the second pair of hands. Beautiful. Put some lid on it and take a 10 minutes break, means grab a beer or soda. It is ready! Let it cool for a moment and in the meanwhile warm up some pitas. And cut some fresh cilantro. Voila, bon appetit! You can, or you have to, serve it with cilantro on the top and obviously hummus. I hope you enjoyed our super professional cooking tutorial which was recorded in the forest of Jerusalem mountains. Let me know in the comments section down below what's your favorite dish that you can cook outside. If you like this video, please give me some thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe my channel, please, please, please. You can also visit me on my social media, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.